This is one example of how to pass a knot with the contents of your Gerito. Repel down until the knot is stuck in the repel device, preventing downward travel. Pull up extra slack below you and tie off a figure eight or clove hitch. Be sure you've left enough slack to give you room to work with that rope. Clip that into the belay loop on your harness. Be sure that carabiner is locked off. Remove the Gerito from your harness and clip it into the rope above you, just so it doesn't drop while you begin to unpackage it. After removing the cover of the Gerito, go ahead and make that smaller by pushing all the Velcro pieces together. Then you can remove the sling from the Gerito and let that drop. That will be your foot loop to stand in while you're passing the knot. Remove the Gearito from the rope. You'll need to do this so you can get to your ascender easily. Set the ascender up on the rope above you. And once set up and the carabiner locked, slide it up and just get it out of your way. Be sure you can still reach it so you can reposition it later. Your safety tether should not be too long. In this case, mine was. What I've done is clip the end of my safety tether back into the belay loop and have used the bite that I had created as a shorter tether. What you're going to want is that carabiner is just a little bit above your repel device and then you're going to want one hand length between the carabiner of the ascender and the carabiner of your safety tether. Once again I'm just checking that length. Now you can just stand in that foot loop and you're going to clip your safety tether into the carabiner of the ascender. Sit down, make sure that's locked up, locked off and safe. You should be hanging from the tether with extra slack between the repel device and the ascender. Use that extra slack to take the knot out of the repel device and fully disengage the rope from the repel device. Once you've got the rope completely out of the repel device, you're going to re-rig the rope back onto the repel device, this time below the knot. Once you have that re-rigged and everything locked up, take all slack out so the knot is once again against the repel device, this time above the repel device. Whatever method you use to lock off your repel device, do that now. And once you're fully locked off with the repel device, you can remove the original safety tie-in that you'd done. This prevents you from accidentally repelling into that knot after you're finished. After that's cleaned up, drop the rope, make sure everything is clean below you, make sure everything is locked. Unlock the safety tether, stand up in your leg loop and unclip that tether. Gently lower yourself down, try not to shock load the system. You should now be on your repel device. If you can't reach the tib lock above, just shake the rope and it should come down to you. This will only work with the old style tib lock ascender. Remove everything from the rope above the knot, clip it to you, which you can clean up now or when you get to the bottom. Unlock the repel device and repel as normal.